All right, August 14th, 2013. Bible prophecy happening now. Here's the headline. Sinai missiles fall on Israeli city as desert jihadists wage war on two fronts. We've got Israel, Egypt, Elat. And let me bring you this article real quick. A missile attack on Israel's popular Red Sea resort of Elat Tuesday morning prompted deployment of the military's vaunted Iron Dome defense and has raised new fears Egypt's army can't contain the violence of the increasingly lawless Sinai Peninsula. Although no one was killed and one of the three missiles was intercepted, the attack is viewed as a significant escalation in the activity of Islamist terror groups in Sinai, many of whom are affiliated with Al-Qaeda. Under the recent deposed uh, Egyptian President uh, Mohamed Morsi, security in Sinai deteriorated, allowing groups such as Ansar, Bayat al-Makhdis, which claimed responsibility for the Elad attack, to flourish. They have been targeting the provincial Egyptian government, but now could be taking on Israel Two, all this with the peace talks and the negotiations beginning. This was a response to the latest crimes by the Jews who used a drone to attack and kill four of our fighters in Sinai. Read a statement in Arabic from Ansar Bat al Makis. The attacks showed fear among the criminal Jews who were forced into underground bomb shelters, so he claims. The jihadist groups claim that an Israeli drone strike was responsible for the deaths of four of their fighters drew no comment from Israel. Ahmed Mohammed Ali, a spokesman for Egypt's military, which has been trying to root out terror groups in the vast peninsula, denied that Israeli drones had been used for attacks in the area, which lies at Israel's uh, southern border and across the Su uh, Suez Canal from the rest of Egypt, but he noted Egypt's army has been active in the area. Since Saturday night, 25 terrorists have killed or injured by the Egyptian army and ammunition supply depots and ammunition supply depots have been destroyed, Ali said. Let me read that over again. A little bit slower. Since Saturday night, 25 terrorists have been killed or injured by the Egyptian army, all right, and ammunition supply depots have been destroyed, Ali said. Israel and the temporary military-backed government that took control when Morsi was arrested last month are both working to neutralize terrorists in the peninsula. We have very good cooperation with Egypt on a range of security issues, uh, Jan Stern, spokesperson for Israel's foreign ministry, told foxnews.com. They have shown what they think about the situation in Sinai. Egyptian forces also have been clamping down on the activities of Hamas in the Gaza Strip that borders Sinai and have publicly accused Hamas of supporting the desert-based terrorists by sending hundreds of fighters through smuggling tunnels to fight in Sinai. But now that missiles launched from the Sinai have landed in the apple of God's eye, Israel's southernmost city, regional observers warn that the Jewish state is not likely to stand pat. The feeling is that if the Egyptian military doesn't quickly regain control and make the border region safe, Israel might be forced to take matters into its own hands and retaliate. The elite terror attack comes as a major, as a majority rather, of Israelis remain opposed to the release of more than 100 Palestinian terrorists from Israeli jails as part of U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry. John Kerry, who's in the middle of this, attempts to revive the Middle East peace process. So this is the reason for the attacks on Israel. The missile strikes, uh, we can trace it back to John Kerry. They are upset over the release of the Palestinian prisoners. Uh, the first release due on Tuesday evening will go ahead unchecked after an Israeli high court ruled earlier in the day against a petition from the families of terror victims 
urging the process to be deemed illegal. So far, the attack on Elat seems to have had more of an impact on defense officials than tourists and residents. I'm surprised by the complaints. As all residents of Elat are well prepared and the city is organized and ready, Elat Mayor Yitzchak Halviv told Israel's Channel 10 television. There have been very few cancellations. We're here on holiday until the weekend, said one French tourist, and nothing's going to make us leave in a hurry. So, airstrikes, Al-Qaeda, CIA, U.S. backed Al-Qaeda, Sinai missiles rain down on Israel city as desert jihadists wage war on two fronts are upset over the release of the Palestinian prisoners. Are you upset over the release of the Palestinian prisoners? End time Bible prophecy. Leave me comments.